Hi, this is Susan Meeling. I'm at the uh, Corpus Christi area of the Gulf of Mexico in the state of Texas. And I'm going to walk a little bit and show you how big the Lexington is, not just in height-wise compared to me, but also the length of the ship. So that way you know how far I swam when I had swam around the naval vessel when I was at the bottom of the ocean in the Florida Keys. And I did that in less than nine minutes. So, <laughs> for those who have been in the any naval branch or Marine Corps branch or uh, Coast Guard branch or uh, into, you know, actual military vessel stuff, uh, you guys know how big that is. <laughs> so for the civilians out there who have no idea, this is a long ship. So, so you see right there, there's the beginning. Okay, here we're at. And so, uh, you know, when I landed at the bottom of the ocean uh, in the Florida Keys area, in the Bermuda Triangle area where the uh, USS or USNS Vandenberg has been sunk, uh, you know, when I landed, as you see, the ship is behind me. Um, not the Vandenberg, this is the Lexington in Corpus Christi. Uh, so you can see how far out the uh, length of the ship is for me to have swam it. Now, I'm walking slowly because I probably should have put my sneakers back on. But instead, I'm wearing sandals and they have heels. So, you know, I have to take that into consideration for how slow I have to walk. But you can see it is quite a tall ship, um, the Lexington. It's not the Vandenberg. It's the Lexington or the USS Lexington or the USNS Lexington. Whatever. Because <laughs> um, they changed whatever it comes to the names and stuff. So you can see that's the... Uh, Tower. I'm teeny tiny compared to this uh, ship, and the USS or USNS Vandenberg is bigger <laughs> than this guy right here. Um, but not to you know, compare sizes or anything like that, just so that you can see the size of the ship for me to have swam around and go against the current when swimming at, you know, some point. So, you can see, I'm still walking the length of the ship <laughs> for the Lexington out here and the naval vessel that's at the bottom of the ocean where I landed is a tad bit longer, but that's okay. You know, this gives you an example. See how teeny tiny I am compared to the Vandenberg, but this is the Lexington right here. So for those guys who have been stationed on a naval vessel, for example, in the United States of America's armed forces branches such as the Navy or the Marine Corps or the Coast Guard, um, they know how big these ships are, much better than someone like me who is in the Army who didn't graduate basic training. Um, and there's Air Force guys and Army guys who know that. But here, see, see, see? Now, I'm at the front part. Uh, the... Anyway, so that's, that's how big just half of that is. So uh, let me turn around because I gotta walk back to my car but so you can see how short I am compared to that um, so that's a well, walk right back and so again I would be walking faster if I was in sneakers instead but I forgot to put my sneakers back on because I went walking on the beach I, I like the ocean I kind of grew up playing in the ocean the East Coast. But yeah, so again, it's a big ship, the Lexington, whereas the USS or USNS Vandenberg is part of the Nimitz class, um, which is a bigger ship. 
So yeah, this is a tall ship, huh? I'm only five foot four. That's that's like more than 64 inches. I don't know how <laughs> how many inches that is, but I know it's more than 64 inches. I know that. So yeah, it's a pretty ship though. But yeah, so this is a little bit. Uh, so this is this is the length of the Lexington out in Corpus Christi. Now, there's the flight deck up there. See, there's the airplane. And so, and the Vandenberg was a armored ship as well as uh, having the ability for airplanes to land on it. And so, and it was able to carry tanks as well. So it's, 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 a, it's a bit taller than this ship over here. But, you know, you can at least, you know, get a, get a good idea how teeny tiny I am. I'm very fairy sized. I'm so fairy sized compared to the Lexington right here. Or, you know, when I was in the Florida Keys in the Bermuda Triangle area or the USS Vandenberg or the USNS Vandenberg. I'm more than fairy side, like much teeny tiny, a little big dot, little big dot. Makes so much sense why my scuba dive buddy, despite the fact that he put other scuba divers at risk, um, that whole thing's a whole other ball of mine, um, couldn't see me. Despite having, you know, I, I, I had a neoprene head cover. It, it was red, like, because it was a ladybug, but, uh, <laughs> I forgot that, you know, in, in the ocean, um, red is the first color to not be seen, you know, after you break a certain uh, ATM level or atmospheric measurement level, which is 33 feet to one atmospheric measurement. And so for all that stuff online that says, you know, oh, it's only, only a hundred something feet. Yeah, cruise ships. Anybody see how much water gets moved when a cruise ship goes by? I'm sure somebody has. So yeah, that's a, that's, 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 that's what I did. I swam around. A ship bigger than that, lengthwise, because I wasn't gonna waste my dive. Certain individuals comprehend exactly what I mean by not wanting to waste a scuba dive. Um, especially when you pay for it um, and you travel for it. So, you know, just say, I'm going to waste that. So, yeah, so that's that's the length. You, you see how long it did it take me? But it took me because I'm in heels um, to walk. I swam around that. And I don't know anybody ever swim in the ocean, feel the current. It's, it's a little strong sometimes, especially in certain areas. Um, <laughs> I'm being a little facetious, I admit that. <clears throat> anyway, I'm gonna go walk myself back to the car, keep that in the background for you guys to see. I did sing the national anthem, but apparently I did something wrong with the technology stuff, which is something I have issues with. And that's that's been ever since the head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000. Since then, I have had some severe issues when it comes to like working with and using technology stuff, which is why I did not get um, a Bluetooth type of uh, setup when I went scuba diving. Um, bet that makes so much more sense now, and I am so glad that I didn't use Bluetooth or wireless when I went scuba diving because that would have been an issue. That would have. So there's, there's the Vandenberg, or not the Vandenberg, the Lexington. So <laughs> I, I'm, 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 I'm more than a few ATM lengthwise away, because ATM lengthwise, again, 33 feet to one ATM. That's this distance right here to where the Lexington is right there. That's about, eh, 
probably about 25 ATMs that way in a diagonal. So 25 times 33. That's how many feet at minimum. Um, but you'd have to swim that. <laughs> anyway, um, go to uh, Amazon.com um, to look up the books that I wrote uh, as you know, the name I've gone by for quite some time, Susan Meeling, also known as Reverend Susan Meeling, but I've been a reverend since 2003. Um, and uh, so, you know, anything I've done has pretty much always been spiritual anyway, but that's a whole other ball of wax. And so if you go to my website, www.susan. M E E L I N G dot C O M. You can see all the stuff I've done. I've been working on a Medal of Honor art project for a while. Now it's a different part of it. Um, but I, I recently have published a couple of books um, on top of the ones that I already had published. And so. Um, you can click on the links to go directly to the pages for either the physical print book or the Kindle version uh, available through Amazon. Thank you, Mr. Bezos, for doing that KDP thing. That's pretty cool. Uh, but, because I, I didn't know how much issues there were with technology, I just thought it was just me. And I know it's partially just me. But yeah, after surfacing from the bottom of the ocean, as far as like everybody, I cannot explain. Oh, look, there's a ship going by. I bet maybe you can see some water going on. Oh, you see, you see the, the, the water power. Let, let me get the, there, see all that power for the water? Like, that's important when it comes to when sinking a ship at the bottom of the ocean, you have to have a certain depth downward to make sure not only the current, but that's called downward draught. And so it's not actually downward, it's kind of actually at a diagonal. But you can see from the white, which is the fluffy, or not fluffy, the bubbles, um, and the trail of it, you have to take into consideration before sinking a vessel to create a coral reef so that way the coral reef um, that grows on the in that location the USS Vandenberger USNS Vandenbergen has to have like stability despite the currents and the ships on the surface of the ocean as well as uh, submarines going by but you can read about that in my books available on Amazon. It's a three-part series called uh, Adventures of Susan Me Ling, Scuba Diver Extraordinaire. That's me. I mean, I did land at the bottom of the ocean and surface while scuba diving. So, you guys have a good one. Thanks for tuning in, and make sure when you say thank you to anyone in the United States of America's armed forces, law enforcement, etc., you actually mean it. Because I know I do. So you have a good one. Bye.